Hey guys, Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. We're continuing with our limit section and we're going to talk a little bit about continuity, which is important because we're going to need to know what continuity is in order to go into the next section, which is going to be derivatives, okay? So let's talk a little bit about continuity and limits and what this question is asking us, okay? So we're being asked to determine if these functions here um, are continuous on the given interval using the definition of continuity and the property of limits, okay? So what does it mean for a function to be continuous? So a continuous function is one that gradually increases or decreases and doesn't jump or doesn't change abruptly. So uh, let me just right here show you um, it, what, a, what a non-continuous function would look like, okay? So say we have some function and I'll just make something up and it just kind of goes like this and then it stops here and goes down here. So this is a, a not continuous function because it's not one smooth line. That essentially it, what a non-continuous function is. Now, there are a couple little things that you have to look out for. So looking at this plot over here, so let's we'll say this is y and x, okay? So there are a couple tricks. So for example, like a function could do something like this, okay? So the function could come up here, okay? And then, all right, it's defined there and then it continues here. So what that means is, okay, the function looks smooth. And if we were to take the limit at this point, the limit from the right and the left side would be equal. Okay, but it's undefined at that point. And that brings me to kind of the definition of what a continuous function is, is there's a couple of rules, all right? And I'll just write them over here. Okay, so the limit as x approaches a, so a function f is continuous at a number a, we'll just say it's a is any, any number here, it's a constant, okay? If the limit as x approaches a of f of x, equals f of a, okay? So the first rule that we need to take a look at is that f of a, or our output, so as x approaches a, the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a, okay? So f of a must be, must be defined, okay? So that's our first rule, that f of a must be defined, okay, for our input a, okay? So what are, if we put a into our function, uh, we, we must have a defined output, okay? And, you know, if you're not comfortable with that uh, up to this point, go back to our video on range and domain and uh, inverse of functions, and we, we did talk a little bit about when functions are defined in there, okay? So the second one, the second condition that must be met if the function is to be continuous is that the limit as x approaches a, okay? As x approaches a, all right, of f of x must exist, okay? And so what that means is that it must exist from uh, or it must exist, so it must be defined, but it must also be the same from the left and the right, okay? So if, in the example for this, if we take the limit as it approaches the left and the right, we're gonna get two different values of y afterwards, and that implies that the, the function is not continuous, okay? And the third one is that the limit as x approaches a, okay, of f of x must equal f of a, okay? So uh, I'll explain what that one means in a second. So using this, this example here and this one, all right? So let, let's take a look and we'll see if these, uh, these rules apply. So the first one is we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 over x minus 2 on the interval not including 2 to infinity, okay? So the set of all real numbers uh, not including 2 and all the way to infinity. And we have to check, uh, reading the question again, uh, it, is the function continuous? Uh, and we have to use the properties of limits and the definition of continuity, okay? So, with that being said, let's get started, okay? So, for a is greater than 2, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll just write it out starting here, okay? So we have the limit as x approaches a, okay? Where a is greater than 2, okay? And we have 2x plus 3 over x minus 2. So using the rule five from before, the property limits, and then we can use rules one, two, and three, all right, we, we're going to distribute this limit to the top and the bottom of the fraction, and then we're gonna take these constants in front of the, the x's, if there are any, and we're gonna move them outside of that, that term, okay? And I'm just gonna do that all in one big motion so that we can kind of get through this, all right? So we'll say, move that two outside, okay? The limit as x approaches a, just come down here, okay? x plus the limit as x approaches a of 3, okay, over the limit as x approaches a of x, okay, 
minus the limit as x approaches a of 2. Okay? So what I did is I just applied uh, the limit laws all in one step now. Okay, we're not going to do it step by step because we already went through that. All right. And what we're going to go ahead and we're just going to plug in A. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply the limit now. All right. So we're going to have 2A plus 3 over A minus 2 for A is greater than 2. Is defined from every everything from 2 to infinity, okay? It's not divine, defined for two, okay? Because if we put two in here, we're going to be dividing by zero, and obviously that's undefined, okay? But if we look at the interval that the question gives us, we see that we have a circular bracket here, okay, for the interval, and that means that two is not included in our the interval that we're evaluating, all right? So in that case, it passes the rule that f of a must be defined, okay? So we can write that this function here, all right, that f is continuous for all a values okay, in the interval from two to infinity, okay? Very good, so that is a continuous function. Let's move to the next one, okay? And we'll let's read it out for you here. We have f of x is equal to one over x plus two, okay, where a is equal to negative two. So initially, we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug this in. We're going to look to see if we can factor it. We can cancel this x out on the bottom. And immediately we can tell this is a really simple function and we can't really do anything to it to, to get rid of this x. We can't cancel it, all right? So we're going to go ahead and plug a equals negative 2 in to our function, okay? And we're going to see that, okay, f negative 2, okay, is going to be equal to 1 over 0, okay? And that is undefined, okay? That is not defined, and okay, so right off the bat, that doesn't pass uh, our rule number one, okay? So unfortunately, this function is, is not continuous, okay? But we can take it one step further, okay? And we can take a look at the, the limits, all right? And this is good practice. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, even though we know that it's not continuous, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. And first, let's take the limit as Okay, as x approaches negative 2, okay, and we're going to look at it from the left, okay? So we're going to look at it from the left, and we are going to apply our limit laws, okay? And we have, okay, so we have 1 over x plus 2, and as we're coming from the left, okay, so what that means is we are coming from the left of negative 2, we're going to have a very, very small negative number, and it's going to get closer and closer to 2 which means that we're going to have a positive divided by a negative, all right? So we're going to have a positive number, okay? Divided by a very, 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 very small negative number. And that's going to give us, and it's practically zero, we can say that it's zero. So that's gonna give us negative infinity, okay? And we discussed that earlier in the vertical asymptote video if you wanna go back and check it out. So let's look at it from the right. So we are approaching negative two from the right, okay? and we are slightly, slightly, slightly bigger than zero. And we're going closer and closer to zero, but from the right side, okay? So that means that this is going to be a positive number, all right? So we have a positive over a positive, and that's going to give us a very, very, very small positive number, almost zero, and that's going to give us infinity. So as we can see, as we approach from the, the left and we approach from the right, okay, the limits are not equal, all right? And as a result of that, the limit does not exist, okay? The limit does not exist. And if we were to just sketch this function here, okay, we would end up with something like this. This is just a rough sketch, okay? But I wanted just to show you what this looks like. And as we can see from this sketch, all right, we, this is clearly not a continuous function, okay? It makes an abrupt change. There's two parts of the function rather than one smooth function. And just from, just from looking at it, right away we know that it's not a continuous function, okay? So that's the section on continuity. I hope you guys left this video with a, with a greater understanding of what a continuous function is and how we find one. And we're going to use these concepts in the derivative section next. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for that.